conventional car with a petrol engine like the one demonstrated here. Boys are fascinated, of course, by motors, but little boys couldn't drive these cars, or could they? At this Essex driving school, the Hornchurch Cardrome, they rather think boys could. And here's a 12-year-old called Jimmy Whiteley who's being shown into the driving seat of a car for the first time in his young life. See how he fares in the course of just one hour of instruction. Here, where they follow the example of Prince Charles, who's been taught to drive his father's car home from Polo on the private road through Windsor Park. The RAC have started junior driver courses, which they say bring teenagers to a standard far higher than the ordinary driving test requires before ever they're old enough to go for it. And young Jimmy Whiteley's progress seems to bear this out. Who has decided at what age a human being is fit to be let loose on the open road in charge of a motor car? What factors have helped them to decide? And how does the 60-minute progress of a 12-year-old like Jimmy affect their attitude? Just see how he manages out on a murky, greasy surface where control really counts. Not bad, not bad at all for a beginner of any age, as Jimmy's proud young brother and his proud young mother recognize. This takes some beating. He's cutting a fine figure. Any teenager would be proud of this 12-year-old's achievement. And talking of beat and cutting figures and teenagers,